morning everybody welcome back to the channel sorry it's been a couple of weeks since our last video but we do christmas turkeys and there's with bird flu it's been under a lot of pressure so uh, i had to focus on that enterprise so sorry it's taken so long so i just thought i would like to show you the cover crops and what what stage we're at so at behind me you can see a crop of mustard post grazing so as you can see we just this has been grazed and the sheep have just taken the tops off um you just got the fibrous stalk there's still quite a lot of greenery in the base this is a conventional system so it was just a straight mustard the anything in the under canopy is a is volunteers or natural regeneration for those of you who are new to cover crops try and identify what your objective is in, when you're planning your cover crops so for example here this is a conventional system we're just trying to achieve uh, ground cover it is linked to our SFI in this particular case so we're trying to achieve winter soil cover so here just trying to establish it as cheap as possible so mustard seed five uh, six to seven kilos a hectare in a pneumatic spreader and just blown onto the stubble this was baled and then i think we stubble raked it so it's quite a cheap establishment method now in that week of minus seven temperatures uh, this mustard will have died anyway so it would already been grazed we can see some a mustard that's still being grazed but you'll see that it's really wilted and died back but what are we trying to achieve here well realistically the, the green cover as I've discussed but I also want the canopy to be nice and open so as you can see these stalks aren't going to provide much shading when it comes to a glyphosate um, burn down before establishment so if you were having a non frost sensitive that continued to grow something like a vetch it could really cover the ground and maybe hide some black grass or some other uh, small target weeds that you might struggle to uh, kill pre-drilling so it's important to consider what you're trying to achieve when you plan your cover crops. There's also been a, a lot of talk recently about what happens if glyphosate was banned. Would this be, is glyphosate essential to growing cover crops and being able to burn them down pre-drilling? So there's also talk about using a crimper roller, but the cover crops have to be relatively uh, mature and uh, in the reproductive phase before breaking the stalk of the plant kills it or terminates it so an alternative is to use a rolls or a crimper roller in the frost and so thank you for da to David White for some pictures of getting out in the frost and killing his cover crop again we had the opportunity to to practice this in one of our own fields but we failed due to the fact we were mucking about with turkeys so there is a cost to having multiple enterprises and again it comes back to that john kemp point that really if you're going to do regenerative agriculture you do need to have greater attention to detail and take these opportunities when they arise so we'll just uh, jump over to those sheep and see what they're looking like in the frost damaged mustard so this is the field where the sheep are still grazing uh, interesting there is one noticeable difference as far as the mustard is concerned the sheep were grazing this mustard during uh, the frost and as you can see a lot of it is, is folded on the ground it's not that linear standing up stalks that we saw in the previous field and this creates a real challenge for uh, drilling into it's very rappy it's a very fibrous you, you can't you can't break it at all it comes out by the roots um, very fibrous there um, so this is where you definitely need a disc coulter having said that the modification of the Claydon drill with the disc opener 
before the leg has really helped us in this type of situation otherwise we just have to go with the more which is a straight disc coulter so there is a consideration as far as your machinery how you're going to uh, destroy the crop what your weed control issues are these are all elements that make up your thinking as to when you decide what sort of cover crop you're going to grow so thank you very much everybody uh, please give the video a thumbs up click on the subscribe and find a little bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live see you next time bye